Hello and welcome to HukraMedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today's daily tip is how to offset animation in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and this is what we're going to create today. So I have all these Ukra Media logos and they are scaling up like this. Now I do have control of the offset. So in this null right here, I have a slider called offset. And in here I can slow things down or speed them up. So I'm going to say 0.5 and now the animation is going to be a bit slower. So this one's going to come on and so on. So I can speed this up by typing a smaller number. So I'm going to do 0 0.05. So now it's going to go much faster. So let me show you how to set this up. For this setup, I have my null, my offset null, and then it does have a slider. And if you don't know how to create a slider, just right click here and then go to expression controls and then slider control. All right. And next I have all these Ukra Media logos and only one of them is animating. It would be this one right here. And it does have a scale animation applied and it basically just scales up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this animation and then apply them to all the other layers and then offset them. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my next logo right here or that one right there and then hit S to reveal the scale property and then alt click on the stopwatch to create an expression. And inside here, we're going to pick whip to our animated scale property. So right now it's going to do the exact same thing. All right. And so right now it's referring to a specific layer. So it says this comp layer and then it gives me that name right here. Now, I don't want to do that. I want to refer to the layer above me. So how do I do that? So my index is three, the layer above me is two, which means that it's decreasing. So here's the thing. So I can literally, instead of the name, I can refer to an index. So I can just type two instead of the name. So I'm going to delete this. And it will do the same thing. So right now it's working. But I want my current index minus one to get the two. So I'm going to type index. If I let go, it's just going to refer to my current layer. And if mine is three and I want to go up, which means two. So I want to subtract from my current index. So I'm going to say index minus one. And what that would do, it would take my current index and subtract it from it, which would be two. And that's how we would get the layer above us. So if I let go, it's doing the exact same thing, which is good. So to get the layer below you, you would say plus one because our index is increasing. So I hope that made sense. All right. So now I'm going to keep going here and I'm going to offset our animation here. So I'm going to type value at time. And in here, I'm going to say time minus 0.1. So if I let go right now, if I preview this, you can see that it is offsetting it. So if I want to have a bigger offset, I would type a bigger number in here. But I don't want to be typing a number here every single time. So I'm going to connect that to a slider to this offset slider right here. So I'm going to create a variable in here and I'll call it offset. So I'm going to say offset, you're going to be, and I'll pick whip to the slider. So instead of this one right here, I'm going to type offset. So I hope this makes sense. So right now, instead of having a number here, I said offset, which is referring to that slider. So whatever I type in here, we'll put it in here. And right now our slider says zero, which means that nothing will happen. It'll be the exact same animation. But if I want to offset this, I would say 0.1 and now it is offsetting. So the next thing I'm going to do is copy my expression and then apply that to all my other layers. So to do that, I'm going to just go here and right click on scale and then copy expression only. And then I'm going to hit S to see all the other scale properties. And then I'm going to hit tilt key on my keyboard to go full screen. And I don't want to be playing with that one or that one. And well, that one is locked. So if I do control alt A, it's going to select all my visible properties. And then I'll do control V and it will paste my expression. So I'm going to hit tilt key to get out of it. And so now you can see that it's animating all of them, which is exactly what I want. I can still control the offset in the slider right here. So right now it says 0.1 and I can change that to 0.3 and it'll be much slower. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.